Hello hackers! Welcome to Poem College. I am Jan and today in this video we're going to be talking about environment interaction in assembly. So in the last lecture we ended up with this question, how the hell did we quit? Well quitting your program is a interaction with your operating system and then really this is what I mean operating system interactions here. You interact with the environment through an operating system. So how do we exit? Well you use something called a system call. And you use it not just to exit, you use it to do anything that is not raw computation, right? A system call is just like a call instruction, except for instead of, well, I mean, that's very false, but conceptually, instead of jumping elsewhere in your program, it jumps to the operating system and the operating system handles it. The operating system mediates your program's interaction with the rest of the environment. And we're going to get really, really deep into this operating system crap in the future module. But for now, what we want to understand is that you interact with that operating system using a system call. And you've learned about system calls. You've performed some system calls. Read, write, sounds familiar from previous modules. Well, now we're going to do them in assembly. And it's super simple. You just call the syscall instruction and you set RAX to a magic value that is selects the syscall you want to perform. Then you set the arguments. Set the arguments in RDI, first argument, RSI, second argument, RDX, third argument. Sound familiar so far? This is the same as calling functions, but uh, the next three are, are different or some of them. So just keep in mind, fourth argument is R10. Um, all right. You need the syscall number. The syscall number for read is zero. Syscall number for write is two. Right before calling syscall, just, just set REX to that value. Sorry, zero and one for write. Um, uh, if you are interested, or well, you will need this, Ryan A. Chapman maintains a Linux system call table for 64-bit x86. Happens to be the top result for whatever search I usually do and, and it has gotten to the point where my search is now Ryan H. Chapman. <laughs> Boom. Um, there are other syscall tables on the internet and, and in the module details on, on the dojo, but uh, here um, I'm going to give an example of in this lecture three system calls. First, maybe even more. The first one will be read, so we're going to call, and I should actually probably have this here, but we're going to call uh, actually, why don't I put this on here? Wait one second. All right, so uh, better slide. So uh, we're gonna read 100 bytes from standard input to the stack. Now you have done this in program interaction, probably. You've probably called read zero for standard input, buff, some buffer you defined in a local variable. Guess what? That lives on the stack. 100 right to read in your flag or well to read an in input from the standard input whatever and you put the result in a variable called n this looks roughly like this you move rti 0 that's the first argument to the his call rsi is the second argument you uh, set it to the stack pointer rdx is 100 how much you're going to read rax is 0 the syscall number of read syscall boom You've read syscall returns into RAX, the number of bytes read, and then you call write to write that into standard out. Again, set RDI to standard out, RSI to the stack. Uh, you don't have to redo this. RSI isn't clobbered, um, but it you know could could be potentially uh, in, in 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 other exotic cases. Um, you move uh, RAX into RDX. RX the again the return value of read. How many bytes? were actually read, and then you set the syscall number to write and trigger a syscall. Boom, read, write, two system calls. Uh, there's a lot of system calls. There is a, um, just just an absolutely enormous, over 300 system calls. They do a lot of different stuff. Um, I'm sure you've used by now all of these, or open, read, write, fork, exec, in program interaction, or at least most of them. They probably look horrifyingly familiar. Um, now, look at this open guy. It, call, it takes a string. It calls like, it, it takes uh, an actual path, like slash flag, for example, or, or, or something. 
Um, now, a string, like a path, is a continuous set of bytes in memory. For strings, it's ASCII bytes, encoded in ASCII, right? Followed by a zero byte that says, hey, we're done. Now, later on, a couple modules from now, you'll see all the various ways this is a bad idea. In fact, you know what? All of computing is a bad idea because of computing, uh, decades after this awesome whatever inventions of cool stuff, I'm recording videos for everybody in the middle of the night. I could be sleeping, but it's okay. I, I, I love bringing educational material and hopefully this is useful. All right, so let's talk about building this string on the stack and then calling open to open a file. Uh, you can build a string on the stack by moving a bunch of single bytes and there are better ways to do it. Later on, we talk about them uh, in, in other modules, for example, and you'll, you'll, you'll discover better ways to do it, but you can just do it as simple as this. You move into RSP plus one. Oops, that should be RSP. I'll be right back. All right. Um, we're back. So uh, you move into RSP, into the memory pointed to by RSP, in, onto the stack, slash F L A G zero. And this gets interpreted, I mean, the, the, this gets interpreted as ASCII and the correct values are added because that's what the single quote does in assembly. And you got 2F, 6, 6, 6, C, 6, 1, 6, 7, 0, 0 in your stack. Okay, then you can just use that to open slash flag. You move uh, open takes a, as we saw here, a path and a flags. So we're going to set the flags to zero and I'll tell you how to get that next. But we're going to set the first argument to this string in memory that says slash flag, second argument zero, the syscall number of open is two, and we hit syscall. And we open our file and get the file descriptor number in REX. Super cool. Okay. How do we get these constants, these, these numbers? Now, uh, this is a pain in the butt. Some system calls just, just to have like archaic sort of things that you got to know like zero is how you open something in, in read only mode and, and write only maybe is one I don't know you'll have to look it up you can uh, write a C program to do it <laughs> right so this is a C program that includes the this this is from the man page that there are these uh, flags uh, the man page of open you can include the right things and then just write a program that printfs it and run it and it says, oh, all read only is zero. Good luck. And there you go. All right. Uh, now, finally, we can quit and rest. This moves 42 into RDI. That's going to be the return code of the program for your uh, bash scripts that, that call it. We're going to move 60 into RX. That's the syscall number of exit. And we call syscall. And the program goes away. It quits. All right, um, so the way to interact with the operating system. Now let's talk about actually building this stuff, debugging it, and so on. 